Hello, you beautiful people. Hello. Um, <laughs> we were she told, is pretty rad. We were, I am. We were told um, we were going to be like interrupted really quickly before we went on, so we've been back here for like an hour while Matthew got in his award, but it's, it's totally worth too. it. Yeah. Um, it's pretty awesome to help present the Give Back Person of the Year. Um, I was the recipient along with my partner in good Natalie, who's actually randomly backstage. We just found each other backstage again. Um, but we received this award last year, and um, I'm also in my day job, um, the director of community development at the Volunteer Center. So for me, I want to just thank Matthew because Santa Cruz County is filled with these amazing people doing things that people just don't really see. And the recipient tonight for this award definitely falls in that category. Um, I was actually told while we were here that this recipient was late coming because he was helping his wife at his wife's event. So just to give you a little snapshot of the kind of person he is, um, it's an honor when we shine a light and acknowledge those who have an unwavering commitment to those who are, com who are committed to creating change in this community. Uh, when I found out we would be presenting, I did the first thing I knew best, which was to text my girlfriend, Alex. Alex, hey -o. Um, And I was like, Alex, you worked with this person for so long. What do you have to say about him? And it's just so beautiful. She said that he genuinely cares about people and he puts them before himself. He tirelessly led the way in bringing the downtown streets team to Santa Cruz. I saw how willing he was to fight the bureaucracy and enroll people in believing in his vision. He knew this would change the narrative about downtown, homelessness, and saw how the business community can play a role in finding a solution. So, obviously, the best person to present the award to this person is Greg, the project manager of the Downtown Streets team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, I'm still looking, I'm still trying to figure out what Santa Cruz casual means. I'm not sure how to dress when I come to events out here. So if there's a stylist <laughs> out there that can help me out, let me know. Resort wear. Resort wear, okay, okay. I never know how to dress. Um, but seriously, long before we uh, ever, you know, welcomed our first team members here in Santa Cruz, uh, this person had established a strong foundation uh, for us to build on. We actually call him internally our spirit guide because he's, he is and continues to be a cheerleader, a connector, a champion, and a voice for your downtown streets team here in Santa Cruz. Uh, much of the success that we've enjoyed has really been a credit to his effort that he put in for over a year prior to our launch last July. And I'm so proud and honored to be able to have the opportunity uh, to present the 2018 Nexty for Give Back Person of the Year to the Executive Director of the Downtown Association of Santa Cruz and my very good friend, Chip. Thanks. All right, I was told I have two minutes, so it's gonna go like this. We're gonna do about 12 seconds of introduction, eight seconds of thank yous, 70 seconds I'm gonna talk about privilege, and then we're gonna talk about how we spend our time. It's gonna be about 10 seconds cumulatively in dramatic pause. There's a lot of people I wanna thank. They know who they are, they know why, and they know that I love them. I am very fortunate, I'm a very fortunate person. That fortune is, is inorganic. Uh, much of what I have, much of what I've achieved uh, was, was given to me because of who I am, because of my race, because of my gender, because of my class. Uh, because of who I am, I have had tremendous opportunities that other have not. Advantage and disadvantage are very connected. And connected like the arms on a balanced scale, right? And in order for us to achieve equity in this community, we can't push on one or pull on the other. We have to address the fulcrum, and that's education. We have to move the fulcrum. Privilege can exist with ignorance, but equity cannot. 
I'm not talking about education just for our young people. I'm talking about education for you and me. I'm talking about education for all of us. I think I have about 20 seconds left. I want to ask you to take more time. I want you to ask, ask you to spend more time. You think that you don't have enough time to address matters of consequence. I will tell you, you do not have enough time not to. Thank you very much. I'm honored to have this. I love you all. Thank you.